So welcome to the Daily Miracles uh, class, the key lessons of A Course in Miracles. And we have three more um, sessions to go. Uh, this, so this is going to be lesson 185. And I Want the Peace of God is the title of it. And very specific key lesson. So then we have two more. So these are the following weeks where we look at that. And so today I'm going to start with using the introduction to uh, lessons 180 to 200 uh, because it is a great thing to do. Uh, it's a great read. It's a, there's a prayer in it. It's like everything we need is already in there. And then on top of that, we'll do the lesson too. So that's really lovely. So relax, breathe. Um, open your mind for this, but you will get the instruction when I read this um, introduction to the, to the, say, the last regular lessons in the Course in Miracles, the part one of the uh, uh, workbook, um, you will get the instructions too. So it's more like, um, let's follow that, um, because I, we use that anyway. So I'm going to start with a prayer. And um, mostly in the introduction there's no prayer, but here there is. And so I want to read that. So if you can already sink in that deep into your withinness with me, that would be great. That would be really helpful. So slow down. Relax, let go of concerns. Forget about what you just did or where you came from or what your ideas were. So steady our feet, our Father. Let our doubts be quiet. And our holy minds be still and speak to us. We have no words to give to you. We would but listen to your word and make it ours. Lead our practicing as does a father lead a child along a way he does not understand. Yet does he follow, sure that he is safe, because his father leads the way for him. So do we bring our practicing to you. And if we stumble, you will raise us up. If we forget the way, we count upon your sure remembering. We wander off. But you will not forget to call us back. Quicken our footsteps now, that we may walk more certainly and quickly unto you. And we accept the word you offer us to unify our practicing, as we review the thoughts that you have given us. So this is the introduction to the review of these lessons. But I love it. That's why I use it. So here, actually, that happened just before I started, so I opened up the Zoom. It's like for a moment I was with these words. Uh, like I was with Jesus, basically. Like I felt presence. And um, the loveliness of that, you can you can let that come to you. You can literally feel that. So in the next um, sentences that I will read, the next two paragraphs, it is it is like Jesus. So Jesus is speaking directly to you, and uh, when Jesus is speaking to you, or Christ mind, or <coughs> your holy loveliness is speaking to you. If you receive that. If you open your mind to it, it's like, oh, what a beautiful communication. It's like there's, there's nothing that can compare with that. It is, it is pure. It is 
um, sacred. It is direct communication. It like it doesn't let itself describe very well, but it's a different experience. So open yourself up like Jesus is directly speaking to you in the next words that I'm going to share with you and um, you really do this together like you do this with Jesus these are the words from Jesus directly from Jesus out of out of body resurrected mind directly speaking to you so and whether you understand that whether that says anything to you it really doesn't matter but the intimacy in which it, uh, it is sh shared or given to you you certainly can feel that so this is um, on page 376 for those who want to read in the word text manuscripts for uh, 376 and this is the uh, sixth paragraph. I take the journey with you, for I share your doubts and fears a little while, that you may come to me who recognize the road by which all fears and doubts are overcome. We walk together. I must understand uncertainty and pain although I know they have no meaning. Yet a saviour must remain with those he teaches, seeing what they see, but still retaining in his mind the way which led him out, and now will lead you out with him. God's Son is crucified until you walk along the road with me. And here you have it, like my resurrection comes again each time I lead a brother safely to the place at which the journey ends and is forgot. I am renewed each time a brother learns there is a way out from misery and pain. I am reborn each time a brother's mind turns to the light in him and looks for me. I have forgotten no one. Help me now to lead you back to where the journey was begun, to make another choice with me. And this is what I mean. It's direct, directly from Jesus to you in these words. Like, I'm reborn, like I'm renewed every time you turn to the light. Every time you, you choose not to make anything real here in terms of misery and pain. Or connected with what you think life is. No, so every time that you do, that you turn to light and, and open your mind to, to receive that to become still instead of attacking or defending. Every time you do that, you, you f see that something happens to you. You feel that there's a change going on. And you say like, well, I'm having all these attack thoughts, like I'm so judgmental and blah, 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 blah. And, and that is a good recognition. So it's like that part of your mind is what ego is is not what you are it is it is your ego mind it is the mind mind whatever you want to call it it is that thing that does not stop and is completely distracted and is completely in doubt all the time and it doesn't want to change that so if you focus on that if you take that as okay that's me i'm always doing that then you literally are identifying with that part. So and that's of course what we have done all. Like we all did that as human beings. So we all identified with this judgmental mind because we believed what we saw and we had proof that somebody did something to us. So now here it is like the gentle invitation to not pick up that thought that is a judgment about your brother that is a confirmation of 
what you have perceived, what you have seen, what you use as proof to attack your brother and yourself, of course. You attack yourself with it. So you have a judgment about someone else and you actually nail yourself to the cross. That is what is occurring with judgment and judgmental thoughts. You know, and it's like not to make a big deal out of it, but to know that you're doing it. So each time that you don't do that, that you let go of your judgments and turn to the light, where you don't need to do anything, where you don't need thoughts to, to um, say, to direct yourself, or to get yourself out of trouble, or to try to relax, or who knows what you try to do with your thoughts. Now here you don't need thoughts. You turn to the light. You become still and turn to the light. That is the instruction, and that's what these exercises are for. That's what we practice in every lesson of A Course in Miracles. It is always that. that. So, that takes, uh, takes it a step further than just quieting your thoughts, even though that's, that's a good practice too, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But this goes a little bit further. It's not only that you don't say that you calm down your thoughts, no, you're actually doing something else. You turn to the light. Ah, so, like, yes, with no thought, with no expectation, just being open. But you turn to that, which is your help, which is your possibility for communication. That, that is what you do. So then Jesus says, each time you do that, I'm renewed, I'm reborn, I'm... My resurrection comes each time a brother's being brought home again. What happens to you when you leave your judgmental part and not identify with it and turn to the light? You literally come into the flow of communicating in that light. You see that communication is there and, and that that is you. So this is, this is the whole shift, basically, that's occurring during your transformational process. The, the shift from identifying with dead thoughts of attack and, and defense to no thoughts and turning to the light and communicating there, recognizing that that is you. So this is, of course, a bit black and white, the way I say it, but it is... Um, it is what's being said here. It's like there is no in between kind of. You cannot make a deal w with it. Like a little bit of that and a little bit of judgment and little. Eh, it's okay, you know. It's like no. Uh, it is. You see your judgmental mind, and that means. Oh yeah, wait a minute. That's that part of my mind that I don't have to identify with. No, I can turn to the light, and I don't need any thoughts for that. I just need to let go of what I think is going on. See, and then we come really close to our lesson of today. It's like, I want the peace of God. You want the peace of God, you know. Deep down, you want the peace of God. So anyway, we come back to that when we read the lesson. But this is essential. So I'm really happy that this is here and also directly related to your Savior in that sense is Jesus. He's your Savior. He helps you out of this. Like without A Course in Miracles, I wouldn't know how to do this. Because there's, uh, to me, this is like a masterpiece in which you get to, s you get to uh, the guidance that you need in order for you to allow this shift to occur slowly but certainly have the change occurring that you suddenly discover oh my god i can turn to the light i don't need to do anything else i i don't need to resolve this i don't need to identify or make real or defend or attack i don't need to do all that no let go i'm letting that go here we are turn to the light mm. that is still that is listening that is opening 
is like you come into your natural uh, say state of being that's why it feels so familiar that's why we call it home you know you're being brought home to the place where you don't need to def defend yourself or prove yourself or compete with something or compare with something none of that there's no difference there is nothing to discover in differences so th i love that about this so let's repeat uh, the seventh paragraph again my resurrection comes each time I lead a brother safely to the place at which the journey ends and is forgot. I am renewed each time a brother learns there's a way from misery and pain. I am reborn each time a brother's mind turns to the light in him and looks for me. I have forgotten no one. Help me now to lead you back to where the journey was begun to make another choice with me. So, and then I skip, uh, skip one paragraph and go to nine. Let this review then be then your gift to me. For this alone I need that you will hear the words I speak and give them to the world. You are my voice, my eyes, my feet, my hands through which I save the world. The self from which I call to you is but your own. To him we, wa we go together. Take your brother's hand, for this is not a way we walk alone. In him I walk with you and you with me. Our father wills his son be one with him that lives but does not then be what lives but must not be one with you <laughs> that's a difficult sentence to to express what lives but must not then be one with you and then you say yes of course of course it must be one with me so this is the introduction to these uh, lessons uh, to the to the review of these lessons so and then we start at 185 um, I want the peace of God see in everything that we do and especially in the Course in Miracles I, I have to say it's like it comes down to so what are you saying what is it that you want and um, do y is that the only thing you want like it's a it's black and white in that sense it is okay it is this do you want that then you get the reflections of it then you will see that too it it will come back to you that's the same as the idea of healing like if healing occurs you and your brother meet for a moment you're together is there healing going on you know both of you that, that that's the case when it happens like it is something that you cannot you don't have to prove you don't have to express no you you know it is happening or it's not happening so and this is um, yeah you can call it black and white but no, it's like it is what it is or it isn't there's no in between and we need that with this lesson too. So the first sentence says, goes right into it. It's like to, to say these words is easy. I want the peace of God. Oh my God, I, I want the peace of God. I don't want anything else. Well, you can say that like that. But is it really that what you want? So in fact, we come to the place where we are asked for incredible honesty deeply within ourselves. And um say putting the whole idea of good and bad really far in the background because there's no good and bad in what you want it is not bad if you don't want the peace of god it's not bad it is not you know it's like don't have to judge yourself for it that you don't want it 
I'm just saying this right from the start. <laughs> because this is about that. Like, in fact, this is an introduction to your own corruption, to, to the places where you actually um, are not completely clear about what you want. Um, for a very specific reason. M we might come to that. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm going to read uh, the first two paragraphs because of the uh, these are the the paragraphs that really something happens in uh, that we can use in this key lesson review. Lesson one eighty five on page three hundred and eighty. I want the peace of God. To say these words is nothing, but to mean these words is everything. If you could but mean them just for an instant, there would be no further sorrow possible for you in any form, in any place or time. Heaven would be completely given back to full awareness, the memory of God entirely restored, the resurrection of all creation fully recognized. Okay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So talking about your corruption, so to speak. To say these words is nothing, but to mean them is everything. If you could mean them just for an instant, like heaven would be completely restored. And sorrow would be impossible. In any form. <laughs> so it's like, okay, so I have to admit then... I come to the conclusion, I have to admit, I don't seem to want the peace of God, otherwise that all would be restored and all would be in my full awareness all the time, without exception. So now you know what I was saying. It's like, this, this is how, you can call it black and white. No, it's like, it is it or it isn't it. If you want the peace of God, and that is really what you want, it is established and it's complete and whole and perfect, that, that is what that is. So let's see if there's still some hope for us then. <laughs> <laughs> no one can mean these words and not be healed. He cannot play with dreams nor think he is himself a dream. He cannot make a hell and think it real. He wants the peace of God and it is given him. For that is all he wants. And that is all he will receive. Many have said these words, but few indeed have meant them. You have but to look upon the world you see around you to be sure how very few they are. The world would be completely changed should any two agree these words express the only thing they want. So I'm doing a bit of reading. So I continue. Here's uh, paragraph 5. To mean you want the peace of God is to renounce all dreams. For no one means these words who wants illusions and who therefore seeks the means which bring illusions. He has looked on them and found them wanting. Now he seeks to go beyond them, recognizing that another dream would offer, offer nothing more than all the others. Dreams are one of him. And he has learned their only difference is one of form. For one will bring the same despair and misery as do the rest. So, continue with six. Hold on. The mind, which means that all at once is peace, must join with other minds. For that is how peace is obtained. And when the wish for peace is genuine, the means for finding it is given in a form each mind which seeks for it in honesty can understand. Whatever form the lesson takes is planned for him in such a way that he cannot mistake it if his asking is sincere. And if he asks without sincerity, there is no form 
in which the lesson will meet with acceptance and be truly learned. I repeat that once more. And if he asks without sincerity, there's no form in which the lesson will meet with acceptance and be truly learned. So we come to the question, what do you ask for in your heart? That's what it says in, in paragraph 8. So I'm continuing in the second part of the, that paragraph. L let not... Um, the second part of paragraph 8. Let not some dreams be more acceptable, reserving shame and secrecy for others. They are one. And being one, one question should be asked of all of them. Is this what I would have in place of heaven and the peace of God? This is the choice you make. Be not deceived that it is otherwise. No compromise is possible in this. You choose God's peace or you have asked for dreams. And dreams will come as you requested them. Yet will God's peace come just as certainly and to remain with you forever. It will not be gone with every twist and turning of the road to reappear unrecognized in forms which shift and change with every step you make. So, make another jump to 14. It is this one intent we seek today, uniting our desires with the need of every heart, the call of every mind, the hope that lies beyond despair, the love attack would hide, the brotherhood that hate has sought to sever, but which still remains as God created it, with help like this beside us, can we fail today as we request the peace of God be given us? So, apparently we have help in, in letting this come to us, in wanting the peace of God and receiving that for ourselves. We have help. So, and, and that is uh, where you say depend on. So, it's like you have no idea how to do this. You have no idea how to put this together or do this or say develop in a way that you can receive this you don't know how to do that so it seems like an impossible mission so, and that's the great part like is a course in miracles it is not a course in figuring out how to establish peace of mind it is not a course in um, upgrading your capabilities in order to um, restore peace into your mind. It is not that you have to find out how this all works. It is not um, by self-examining that you say um, filter your mind, taking the bad thoughts out of it, the negative thoughts and emotions out of it, the positive thoughts out of it. You don't all have to do that. So it always comes back to this, and, and this may be the hardest part. Is like there's not much asked of you to receive this for yourself. You have great help. So the only thing is that you have to be willing. And maybe that's the most difficult thing to um, to come to, to discover that that's the only thing that's being asked. You think that your input and your, say, part in it is so important, while it actually is not that important. It's like, no, you were already created as the truth of who you are. You don't need to make that. You don't need to look for an upgrade. No, you were created perfectly, only the only thing that you need to understand is that it has nothing to do 
with what you think about yourself. It has nothing to do with what you think about your brother. It has nothing to do with the way that you think about everything. So it's like your intellect is not even going to be helpful here either. So it has nothing to do with what you learned. It has nothing to do with ideas that you hold about what you would achieve. Uh, it has nothing to do with that. So that makes it actually, um, yeah, it comes down to to one word, really. A five-letter word. <laughs> and most of us have a difficulty receiving that word or applying that word. And it's called, uh, are you ready for this? Do you want to hear the key word of today? Uh, really? Okay, well here it is. It's called relax. 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 Uh, see how difficult that is to just do that and, and enjoy that? Relax. It is accomplished. It is not depending on your doings. It is not depending on your right thinking. It is not depending on the hours of meditation that you are willing to do. It is not depending on your practice in that sense at all. But it's uh, about are you willing to relax and receive and not do and be still and be honest coming in touch with embracing embracing your innocence your perfection relaxing deeply into your perfection what do you need to do for that? What do you think you need to do for that? No, you don't need to do that. You don't have to do that. So it takes away the pressure of thinking that oh, I'm going to practice like I want a piece of God. I'm going to really mean it. I'm gonna really mean it. <laughs> I've tried it, it didn't work. I tried it, it did not work. Or if I repeat it during the day as a mantra, like all day long, I want a piece of God, I want a piece of God. That's gonna do it. No. No, it's not going to do it. Um, I do a retreat, like a 10-day retreat. I want a peace of God retreat. That will do it. No. I might as well start drinking again. That might do it. No. I might look for the ex 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 escapes that I've been looking for. That, that will do it. That will help me to relax. So this is what I said, it is too simple. See, to relax is like quite something. It is th keeping things simple. Allowing things to occur right now. Not, not doing your things. Not being in action for your things. But letting it all just fall apart for just an instant. And joining me in that, and just doing that, just like you just did. 
see it's it can appear as a big disillusion that you don't have to do anything for it now your whole spiritual career is like on its on its behind so to speak I'll be glad. It saves you a lot of time. So, relax is the key word in this lesson. I want the peace of God. How am I going to receive that? Relax. Relax. Turn to the light and look for me. That's what Jesus says in the introduction. Turn to the light and look for me. I'm there. You can join with me all the time. I'm here. I'm here communicating with you. You want it in your full awareness. All right. So I'm going to read one more um, miracle prayer. Uh, let's see if we can find one with the word peace in it. There must be. Yeah. Here it is, 305 on page 408 of the Urtex manuscripts. So sit back and you know the word. There's a peace that Christ bestows on us. Who uses but Christ's vision finds a peace so deep and quiet, undisturbable and wholly changeless, that the world contains no counterpart. Comparisons are still before this peace, and all the world departs in silence as this peace envelops it and gently carries it to truth no more to be the home of fear for love has come and healed the world by giving it Christ's peace Father the peace of Christ is given us because it is your will that we be saved Help us today, but to accept your gift and judge it not. What has come to us to save us from our judgment on ourselves? There's a peace that Christ bestows on us. Who uses but Christ's vision finds a peace so deep and quiet and undisturbable and wholly changeless that the world contains no counterpart. Comparisons are still before this peace. And all the world departs in silence and as this peace envelops it and gently carries it to truth. No more to be the home of fear, for love has come and healed the world by giving it Christ's peace. Father, the peace of Christ is given us because it is your will that we be saved. Help us today to accept your gift and judge it not. For it has come to us to save us from our judgment on ourselves. Amen. So thank you for that. Thank you for joining me in that in that prayer. It's like this is where you see the whole wrap up occur. This is where that comes together. So it's it's great to pray a prayer like that. Just just to come to the to the stillness that you say wanna come into to experience peace and not conflict. And see that it doesn't exclude anything no it envelops everything with holiness with with love because 
it's like you start to embrace all of it not picking anything out specifically not comparing it to anything no you embrace the whole of it and that's a great practice you can practice that every day in every moment that you become still and uh, remember again like oh yeah wait a minute let's do my peace embrace or something like my peace embrace including everything in not excluding anything not comparing anything not wanting anything not none of that completely relaxing into your love embrace so thanks for joining me in that and um i hope to see you soon uh, thank you so much <laughs>